Well, hi, all doing, folks, and welcome back. And oh man, we're, we're going to do some fried chicken on the air fryer tonight. Uh, I, I, want, I wanted to try to put it on my second shelf here. Uh, if you're wondering where the second shelf came from, yes, I did. I, I kind of made this, retrofitted it. You can go to my YouTube channel, Tom Horseman, and under air fryer, second shelf, uh, you can see how I did that. But I'm just using some fine magic. Uh, this is really easy stuff to use. Um, my chicken, I actually uh, got it from Sam's Club a couple weeks ago, about a 20 pack, then used my food saver to save about six of them at a time. I put a little bit of the, this, uh, this stuff on there, super chicken serum. Uh, it smells like chicken soup, really nice. And uh, like I said, I'm just, um, I'm just breading these, uh, not real heavily, just uh, making sure that I get uh, the, the breading on there. All over, and if you have a problem getting in the spot there, just sprinkle some on. It don't have to be, it don't have to be pretty, you know? And then we just put her in the hole right there. And then we're going to spray it with a little olive oil. Let's see, I've got a little extra virgin olive oil there. And I'm just going to put a coating. That'll help brown things up a little bit. You don't have to go overly heavy there. And then we're going to put it on the air fryer. Let's get you over by the air fryer, by the Power Air Fryer XL. And just get it in there in a swooping kind of motion. And then uh, we're going to set it. At uh, go to manual, go to let's go to the chicken setting, which is 360. But I always bump it up, folks, because I like to cook at 400. So we're gonna go 400 for 20 minutes. We're gonna check it at uh, 10 minutes and flip them over. Maybe spray a little more more olive oil on the other side, and then we'll give you a look. See, thanks for all right, folks. There we are. 10 minutes. Let's take a quick look, shall we? You can see they're uh, they're browning up really, really nice. Uh, move you over there a little bit. Now you can ask the question, you know, why put them on the upper shelf? And, and the reason for it is I, I want to get closer to the heating element, which will help brown up the chicken a little bit. You can see it is browning up a little nice. Also, people are going to ask time and temp. Time and temp is, uh, the temp is 400. The time is going to depend on temperature, internal temperature to the chicken. So remember, this is chicken, 165 minimum. But because it's legs and it's dark meat, dark meat usually, in my opinion, tastes better when you take it up a little bit higher, like 185-ish. So we're going to flip these, spray them a little olive oil on the other side, let them go another 10 minutes and see what they look like. Well, hey, folks, there we are, 20 minutes at 400. Let's, let's take a look, shall we? Move back here a little bit for you. Oh man, here's sizzle. So it's looking mighty nice. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take an internal temp for you folks. Uh, I've got my instant read thermometer here. I'm going to make sure you don't touch the bone. See where one... Well, we're <laughs> almost 185, like I said, where I wanted to be. Let's take this one right here and see where we're at. This one's a little cooler, but they're, they're all above 160, 65. I mean, we're, we're, what I said, you got to be 165 here. And uh, this one also. So you can see they turned out, and what, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to let them cool down a little bit. And uh, one of the things I also want to share with you, uh, some people complain about smoking, uh, that the that, uh, power air fryer smokes, and a lot of it is from the, you know excessive grease. So a, a good tip is to put some water in the bottom of the pan. The, you know, put a half a cup or, or so of water in the bottom there so that the grease drops in that and doesn't burn. Because if you start seeing a lot of smoke coming out of the back of your power air fryer, it's probably a good idea to, to turn off. So we'll give you a look-see once these are plated up. Thanks for watching. Well, hey, folks, there they are. I let them rest for a couple minutes. <clears throat> oh, man. Don't that look like nice fried chicken? And that was on the Power Air Fryer XL. You know, I, I get a lot of these ideas. Let's talk barbecue.com. Check them out. There's also a couple of great Facebook pages that are devoted just to Power Air Fryers. Check all of them out, too. And, uh, you know, Tom Horseman on YouTube, check me out too. Uh, let's just take one here. I don't know why I picked this one. 
but let's just take a test. Oh, it's really good. Really, really good. Folks, I'll be give this a shot. And as always, I can't say it enough. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching.